In a very significant development, the DRDO has successfully carried out a flight demonstration based on the solid fuel ducted ramjet technology, and DRDO officials have said that all subsystems, including the booster motor and nozzle less motor, have performed as per the expectations, and many new technologies were also proven during today's test that will enable the DRDO to develop 350 km range air to air missiles with high supersonic speed. Garden Reach Shipbuilders was awarded the contract to build three Project 17 Air Advanced Stealth Frigates for the Indian Navy, while the remaining four stealth frigates are being constructed by Mazagin Dock Limited. In a major milestone, Garden Reach Shipbuilders has laid the keel of the third P-17 Air Advanced Stealth Frigate today, that features vertical launching system for Barricade and Brahmos anti-ship missiles, 127mm Mark 45 naval gun, triple torpedo tubes, and anti-submarine rocket launchers. The crew complement have also been reduced to 150 by using high levels of automation, which will reduce the operational costs by around 20%. A Tejas Limited series production aircraft is all set to start captive flight test and missile separation test of the Astra Mark 1 air-to-air -air missile. The Tejas Limited series production aircraft is also being integrated with the Astra Mark 1, which will be tested in October 2021. Hindustan Aeronautics is also developing a software patch for the MiG-29, and initially two MiG-29 UPG and one MiG-29K fighter jet will be integrated with the Astra Mark 1, and its first test will be conducted in 2022. India's Jindal Defence has signed a joint venture agreement with the Brazilian manufacturer Taurus Armis, for the transfer of technology to manufacture carbines and rifles in India. With an initial investment of $5 million, the joint venture firm will establish a manufacturing plant in India, in which the Jindal Defence will hold a controlling stake of 51%, and will also bid in the Indian Army's ongoing tender for more than 3 lakh carbines. The Taurus T-4 has recently passed rigorous qualification tests by the Philippines Army, which had set the most demanding carbine requirements in the world. While Philippines has signed a pact with India yesterday, that will facilitate the sale of the Brahmos system, but the export remains hostage to unresolved concerns over the US sanctions, as the CATSA covers all major Russian defense entities, including the Russian company which holds a 49.5% joint venture with India's DRDO in Brahmos Aerospace Limited. Hindustan Aeronautics has offered the Air Force an Army variant of the Indian multi-role helicopter with one type of engine, and the Navy variant with another engine, as Hindustan Aeronautics wants to keep the foreign engine manufacturers in control, so that they don't increase their price after the helicopter goes into mass production. Hindustan Aeronautics has confirmed that the French company Safran has offered its Aneto turboshaft engines that range from 2,500 to 3,000 horsepower. Russia has offered its VK2500 PS3 turboshaft engine that is equipped with full authority digital engine control, while the US has offered General Electric's CT78 turboshaft engine, that also powers the Sikorsky S92 twin engine medium lift helicopter. India has proposed to include the strategically located Chabahar port in the International North-South Transport Corridor, and this comes at a time when China is planning to link the Chabahar port with its Belt and Road Initiative, and also sign a $400 billion investment deal with Iran, for infrastructure energy and defense projects over the next 25 years. Oh, Mark, drop it.